Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of building a secure attachment with your child. Research conducted at the University of Oregon has revealed valuable insights into the circle of security, outlining key principles that foster healthy parent-child relationships. In this video, we'll explore the keys to building a secure attachment and provide real-life examples to help you navigate this incredible journey. So, let's get started. 1. Availability and Responsiveness The first key to building a secure attachment is being emotionally available and responsive to your child's needs. Let's see this principle in action. Imagine your child is feeling anxious about starting a new activity at school. By actively listening to their concerns, validating their feelings, and providing reassurance, you create a safe space where they feel understood and supported. Your timely response helps alleviate their anxiety and strengthens the bond between you. 2. Providing a secure base The second key is providing a secure base from which your child can explore the world around them. Picture your child excitedly exploring a new playground. As they climb higher on the jungle gym, you stay nearby, ready to offer support and encouragement. By providing a secure base, you instill confidence in your child, empowering them to explore their surroundings and take age-appropriate risks. 3. Encouraging Child Exploration Our third key involves encouraging your child's natural curiosity and exploration. However, it's important to be aware of a common mistake parents sometimes make, which is stopping their child from exploring a new environment. Imagine you take your child to a new park, and they eagerly want to explore the playground equipment. However, you notice some potential risks and immediately tell them to stay close and not venture too far. While your intention is to keep them safe, this might inadvertently discourage their exploration and limit their sense of autonomy. By consistently restricting their ability to explore, the child may develop a fear of trying new things, become overly reliant on parental guidance, and struggle with developing their independence. This can potentially hinder the child's attachment as they may feel less confident in exploring the world and relying on their own judgment. 4. Welcoming the child's return for soothing The fourth key is creating a safe and accepting space for your child to seek soothing and comfort when needed. Let's explore this nurturing principle. Your child comes running to you with tears streaming down their face after a fall. By scooping them up in your arms, offering gentle words of comfort, and providing a soothing presence, you create a secure space where they feel protected. This warm response helps them regulate their emotions, knowing they can always turn to you for comfort. 5. Following the children's needs the fifth key is to prioritize following your children's needs whenever possible. Let's imagine you're preparing dinner, and your child comes into the kitchen, expressing their desire to help. Instead of dismissing their request due to time constraints or concerns about making a mess, you take a moment to assess the situation. Recognizing their need for autonomy and involvement, you find a task they can safely contribute to, such as rinsing vegetables or setting the table. By honoring their request and involving them in age-appropriate ways, you show them that their needs and contributions are valued, fostering a sense of competence and a stronger attachment between you. To summarize, a major rule of the circle of security is, whenever possible, follow your child's need. When necessary, take charge. To figure out which is the best response at any moment, we need to be with the child and also remember that as parents we are bigger, stronger, wiser and always kind. Thank you for joining us today. 